refueling tankers have been flying for about 50 years. And while there's no real problems with them, the improved capabilities of the new planes will definitely be a great addition to the base. It's an historic time at the Air National Guard base at Pease. It's the first time an Air National Guard uh, unit has been this closely involved with the rollout of a new weapon system. Out of 88 Air National Guard bases, the Air Force chose Pease to be the first to get the new KC-46A refueling tanker. The airplanes will replace the current KC-135s, and instead of eight planes, they'll have 12. The planes will have enhanced cargo space and aeromedical evacuation capabilities. And the things that stood out for us were the fact that we had an active duty association that was very successful. Uh, combined with our location here in the strategic northeast. This really reinforces what a professional and excellent team we have in the New Hampshire 157th refueling wing of the National Guard. Um, these guys are war tested and women, uh, war tested, professional, and this really speaks to their skill. The Colonel says Governor Hassan, as well as the New Hampshire congressional delegation, have been big supporters. This is going to be critical to serving our troops, so this is what allows us to refuel our fighter jets overseas and gives us great capacity. But also in terms of the viability of peas, it's incredibly important because that means we have the very best tankers and the latest technology to serve the nation. I've had a chance to go up and see what they do. It is truly amazing. And um, so this is a great boost to them, it's a tribute to all of their good work and a great benefit to us in New Hampshire and to the seacoast. The planes are still being built, but before they arrive, the base will need to complete $47 million worth of construction. These hangars will have to be modified to house the much larger and taller tankers. 115 new personnel will be brought on, and training needs to take place. The new tanker should be here sometime in 2018, and while that is about three years away, there's still a lot of work to be done, so they're going to use every single minute of it. Reporting in Newington, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.